it's a Saturday. 17th. We've got a little hole in the clouds. And then it's supposed to start again. It was raining right up till this morning. It's supposed to start again tonight. I've got to take advantage of it while I can. Heading up this other trail. Nice little pond there. Brushing in here and leaving stuff in the trail. Anyway, I want to head up here, make kind of a loop around, and find a spot to set the trail camera. take this trail because it's uh, a little longer to get to where I like to go but you know any trails good trail and the trail I, or the road I should say damn bears been digging a hole there again I don't know why they do that Anyway, the road I take it, normally take into the trailhead is washing out big time. And uh, that afternoon, after I got out of there, the fire service went in and blocked it off put some boulders in front of it, or part way down it. So on the way back from this, I might pull in there just to see what's going on. Got to keep up on things, let everybody else know. Damn worse for in here. The spot I'm going to set up the camera or the area has a very heavy bear infestation. Squirrel on the trail. So hopefully Get some good video in there. And hopefully the camera works because uh, when I got it home after the last ride, there was some condensation in the lens. So I checked over the seals and cleaned everything out. Let it dry out good. Yeah, I'll make a right turn here.
Uh, their old one's been rained on. Not very big either. uphill here. Get into gear. There we go. Okay. Don't need full wheel drive anymore. Used to be a nice trail went back there, but then they ran a brush hog through and destroyed it. This trail used to go all the way through and come out on the highway, but then. Uh, A bunch of trees fell down across it. Big trees. And nobody wants to cut them out. Let's see. I think that. That's it. Nope. A little further up. Kind of hard to see a left turn. Ah, everything dripping wet. Here we go. getting overgrown in here. You can probably see on the camera everything dripping off the leaves here. Not speeding, don't want to see nobody, don't want to get slapped with a wet, wet brush.
another bear hole. I don't know what they're digging for there. Unfortunately, I didn't have the camera running right then, but I had a big grizzly walked right across the trail, maybe a hundred feet in front of me. Good stuff never happens when you got the camera on. Go off. phrase that. Good stuff always happens when the camera's off. But it's a good thing I was going slow. If I'd been going a little bit faster, I would have been right on top of them. trail in there but the beavers moved in
another creek coming up. People drive their Jeeps and stuff down this trail all the time, so I gotta find a spot where it's kinda hard to see from the trail. too far off. This is where I put it before. I had good luck here, so I'll do that again. That tree, there's a bear trail this way, gets a lot of traffic. Okay. Yeah, it's far enough back in the shade that anybody going by would probably miss it. <laughs> Let's see, what should I do? I keep going this way. I'm going to hit the highway. That's a, another couple miles back to the truck on the road. Or I can just turn around right here and go back the way I come. Enjoy the trail.
Creek. There's the bear hole again. Why do they do that? Now I've seen them out in the woods digging in the dirt and the moss and whatever looking for grubs and anything else edible but right in the middle of a hard packed trail what is so interesting in there? We're riding on rocks again. trail riding in it and something broke and it was a while before he could get back out with the parts and by the time he did it had been stripped everything gone so here it sits for the last oh good going on 15 years better than that. Well that's what happens when you leave your truck out in the woods. It isn't good for spare parts anymore. start recording. Well, them guys weren't here when I came out. So they must have kept going straight ahead on the trail when I made the turn. Well, 
to get this thing loaded up and I'm going to go check out the other trail. Well, here's the trail. Officially it's Forest Service Trail 220. Everybody around here calls it John Gore's Trail. I'm going to go in here and see where they got it blocked off. Well, there's where they got it closed. They didn't do a very good job of closing it there. Somebody's got to come in and just snag onto one of them rocks, pull it out of the way. I know that. What they did do is nice, is they brushed out a little turnaround here. Both sides. So. That's thoughtful of them. We take a little walk down here and see what develops. Yeah, another, you're gonna die sign. Here's where the gravel pit used to be. It doesn't look like it's come in any further. It's taking some more trees off down there. Yeah, walk down the end and see what's going on down there. Hey, there's the old truck. Oh yeah, that's a fixer. I'll just snag onto that and take it home. <laughs> okay, it's moved in another 10 feet. It's into the park a lot. Caving in big time. The water's actually come down a bit. That truck was underwater last time I was out here. So you can't get a truck in here anymore unless you got a death wish for it. But uh, you can still get a four wheeler in, get around the rocks. That's a shame. Is that other trail? We don't call it, call it Boulder Alley for nothing. Okay. Hike on back to the truck. Eagle flying up there. Well, even getting out just for a little bit, that was fun. Next time the sun shines in another week or so, check that camera and hopefully I got some critters on there. And thank you for coming along.